guys, guess what time of the month it is again? It is scroll the box time. You guys really enjoyed my last, well I hope you really enjoyed my last scroll the box challenge video and I really, really enjoyed filming it. Even though it didn't go to plan, I still really enjoyed having fun with art supplies that I wouldn't necessarily use. So I'm super, super excited to get into this week's Girl the Box Challenge. This is actually April's box. For some reason, these boxes, even though I'm based in the UK, come really late in the month. So this is going to probably be May by the time you're watching it, but this is the April box. But yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, here we go. Scroll box unboxing. Oops, I've just knocked the tripod and now you're all wobbling. But anyway, let's open it. I'm excited to see what's inside. I haven't had any spoilers. I haven't been watching any videos. So I genuinely do not know what is inside of this month's box. So let's have a break open and see what's inside. Ooh, I can see pretty colours underneath the tissue paper. Let's have a look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are absolutely kidding me. Okay. Look what they've put in. They've put in an art eraser, a needed art eraser, but I've literally just bought one. This exact make, but not in white. But still cool, but maybe I should have waited to buy this. Because <laughs> they've put a needable art eraser in. And this is exactly the same one as this, but this is white and this is grey. At least this is white. Oh, and a little fruit pastel. Everyone loves a fruit pastel. Let's have a look what's in the box. Oop. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this one. <gasps> There's brush pens by Echoline. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and the colours of pastel colours. Was this box designed for me or not? Can we just appreciate the fact that there's a pink and baby blue, pastel pink and baby blue scroller box logo sticker in here? Was this box actually made for me or not? So we've got the logo sticker, which I'm really happy about. And then we've got, I'm already excited about this, guys. I'm not going to lie. We've got the brush pens from Echo Line. I don't think I've ever been this happy about a mystery art box. Actually, it's my only second mystery art box. What am I talking about? But this was made for me, all right? And April's my birthday. Scroller box, did you? know this already and then we've also got a uniball pin drawing in dark and light gray so we've got this pen water and fade proof oh so we've got this line art pen in dark gray i think or is it in black let's see oh no so these are in gray oh my gosh i'm so excited for this <gasps> look so this is in gray and then we've got another one in a lighter gray Oh, and this is slightly thicker. So I, I wonder if these are different colors. We'll do a swatch in a second. And then we've got a pencil, and then we've got the kneadable art eraser. So what Squirrel Box do is they give you a prompt as well. And it says words of wisdom in this uh, week's prompt. Oh, and we've got some paper off Squirrel Box as well. Every month they also put in an art print of an artist, and the artist is Kiki B. If you're not good at learning every day, then you're not living every day. This art print is so pretty. So has she used these pens? No, surely not, because it's not a yellow, but either way, it's beautiful, am I right? I'm probably going to use my sketchbook and see see what the swatches are like in my sketchbook. Yay, needable ladder, is it? Oh yeah, it's kind of like Play-Doh. It has a really weird smell. Swatch some stuff. Oh, it is like grey. Scroll a challenge. Let's try the thinner one now and see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, do you know what guys? I hate lining with black pens. So maybe this is gonna be perfect because it's it's not quite as harsh as black, but it's uh, dark enough to be liner. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this one, you know. Oh, I'm so excited. Those two colours aren't that much different. Like compared to the, like, I don't know if you can see, but compared to the pen lids, the on paper, they're not that much different. So let's try the Echoline brush pens now and do a little swatch for them. That's weird, it's kind of going bitty on the paper. Uh, let's try the lilac. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of going like bitty on the paper. And let's try the green. The 
colour. It's really light compared to the compared to the pen lid. That's considerably lighter than. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Now let's try the pink because I freaking love pink. Oh, it's really light. But they are water based and not alcohol, so. Oh, I love that colour. It's really, really light. Yes, they haven't dried yet, but these colours are so pretty. Oh, and then we've got like a light grey. I don't know if you can see, but it the paper is definitely going bitty when I do this. It might not in the paper that they've supplied, but it's going bitty on here. Well, that's the swatches, and then we've got the pencil here as well. Oh, it's really thick and kind of heavy. I don't normally sketch using these, but that's what the needable art is for. So these are the swatches, and we have to create something based off the words of wisdom. So what can we do? I was looking online for some funny wise quotes, and I found this one. If Cinderella's shoe fit perfectly, then why did it fall off? And I found this so, so funny. So, because I'm a Disney nerd, I thought it would be fun to do some sort of Cinderella-y style illustration with all these pens and stuff. So I was thinking of Cinderella kind of chubby and cute in my style and then with like the Cinderella castle in the background and you guys know me I'm a Disney nerd so that's kind of the thought behind that I know it's words of wisdom but I wanted something funny and cute so I'm gonna put that on the bottom okay I've got a dress and it's blue it's perfect because we've got a blue here I wonder if the blue will layer but I'm gonna do a little sketch of her first um, and see see how this turns out I want to kind of I want to kind of looking a bit sheepish about her shoe why did her shoe fall off and then she's got these bum bits which I have no idea what these are but something How do you do flowy fabric? Ooh, this erase is really good. What the flip? This isn't the finished piece. I'm gonna do the finished piece on the piece of paper. This is just like a rough idea of like where I want stuff. Uh, so let's rub this out. Should we try line art first? Normally I color first and then do the line art, but I don't know, this is only a sketch, so let's just see how it works out. So if we do her dress in um, blue, ooh, I just want to get a feel of the watercolours before. That is totally like, I don't know if you can see, this is really bitty. Can you see? You see all the bittiness? This is very strange. I don't know why it's doing that. I wonder if I could do this the other way around. I think the colour would look better if the dress was grey and these were blue. So I might actually do that the other way around. She's cheeky. Like, yes, yeah, Cinderella, how come it didn't fall off? You totally did this on purpose, didn't you? Oh, this is not going down nice in this sketchbook. Hmm, I don't know. Right, I'm going to do another quick sketch on the next page. Um, just planning it out. I think I prefer that better. Or oh, pink in the background. <gasps> All the possibilities. But so let's get into the actual illustration of her now that I've planned out the composition and where I want the colours. So I'm basically going to be using the pink, grey and blue for this. And then I'm going to use the liner pen. There we go. Right, let's sketch her out. I don't really understand what these bits are. Does anyone know what they're called? Like, these bits, they look like wing butts, like butt wings or something. So blue for a dress, so it'll be interesting to see what the paper is like and whether it's bitty on this paper as well. Like, it's getting loads of bits on. 
so this paper, I don't know whether it's designed for watercolour markers, but wait a second. Can I use a paintbrush? I didn't even think to try that. Okay, I'm back with some water and some paintbrushes. I'm just going to see what it does when I add water to it. I wonder if it smudges around. No, that didn't really work like I thought it was going to. But I don't know if I can use this as like a watercolour. Should I test it on the second sheet of paper? No, it's not really working like I thought. It kind of is offering a lighter shade, but it's not really blending or working like I thought it was. With it saying it was a concentrated formula, I thought you might be able to use it, but... Okay, back to the drawing board, back to what I was actually doing in the first place. Streaky and bitty, not a nice, nice colour combination. Whether I'm using them wrong, I don't know, but I'm assuming you just use them like this. I don't know, like, how else would you use them? But look, it's going so bitty, there's loads of bits and everything on it. I really, really like this, like dark grey uh, for line arting because I don't like to use, um, I just don't really like to use black in my illustrations and this grey colour is literally perfect because it's not too harsh. Oh, oh no, that bled. Oh, I've just totally cut her elbow off there. Do a cute little face. This is adorable. Am I right? She's had a rough night. Her hair has seen better days. Cute little eyebrows. Kind of like slugs. I like drawing sluggy eyes. Oh. <laughs> I've done this one a little bit too slick. She's got really sluggy eyebrows now. These look quite cute. I'm just going to see if I can add some more detail to some of the outlines, like if I thicken some of the outlines, gives it a bit more depth. This is so fun. I love doing stuff like this. I find it really relaxing as well. I find this bit so therapeutic, you know, just filling in blocks of colour. It's kind of like those stress relief books. <laughs> That's what I feel like is happening right now. It doesn't colour well at all. Maybe these are more for um, like hand lettering with the quote being wise words, like words of wisdom. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I followed the prompt very well, but uh, with it being words of wisdom, they'll probably use for hand lettering. I don't know whether to keep this white or going with the dark grey because at the moment there's not much contrast but the problem is if I fill it in dark grey there's not going to be much contrast against the purple so I'm having a dilemma here guys unless I do it pink I wonder what pink will look like oh no I'm ruining it send help there's not enough contrast I wonder if I can erase this Oh my god, it worked. I erased it. <laughs> this rub is really good. Let's do two layers and see if that does any difference. It's just totally dragging the paper. I wonder what other people are doing. Maybe I should have left it white. You know what this kind of feels like? It kind of feels like really cheap um, paper that you get. Pen. It feels like really cheap pens that you get from like the pound shop. Even though it's Ecoline. Ecoline's quite good. But I think it's because of water-based. I definitely think it's maybe more catered towards the hand lettering. Starry, starry, everybody, starry eyed. So the purple background, I think, kind of spoils it. I wonder if we could do another one. I'm going to try another illustration and do it with the original, with the grey. So do it with this combination and see if I prefer this one. Because I'm not really happy with how that one turned out. So let's try it with this one instead.
actually don't know which one I prefer. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer, prefer the night sky one? Or do you prefer the light one? So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much done. Finished pieces, all done. Did a few different things. I actually think I might go back to this. I'm kind of cheating because he did not get this pen. This is the Uniball Signal Broad. If you want to know what it is. I'm just adding some more cute details. Yeah, there are the two finished pieces. What do you think? complete. I had such good fun creating these two pieces and I think actually this one is my favourite but with the face of maybe this one because I prefer the dress on this one and I do quite like the dark background but I think I prefer the face on this one. There's just not a lot of contrast going on on this um, illustration whereas there is on this one. Which one's your favourite? Do you like the darker background or the pastel colour one? Let me know. And also can we just point out <laughs> this face right now. It's a great way if you're ever confused on what colours to use, do a little thumbnail like really quick, it doesn't have to be good at all in your sketchbook and kind of see how it's going to get laid out. I'm really happy from sketching to the final pieces, I'm happy with how it's turned out. I made best with what I had. The brush pens aren't the greatest, I probably won't use them again. I do like the pink colour. Maybe I could try them out on like watercolour paper, see if that helps. I don't think this paper is particularly good. Or maybe marker paper might help. I really enjoyed this challenge because I really enjoyed the colours. I drew something Disney. It was words of wisdom, even though it wasn't that wild. <laughs> Even though I totally twisted it because all I googled was wise funny quotes and it came up with that Cinderella quote. Oh, I forgot to add the text to the illustration which is what I was going to add at the end but I forgot. Also what I definitely will use again is these Uniball pens. They are great for liner. I normally use like blue or red or pink for my liner because I don't like the harshness of black but now that I have the option of this light grey, don't know why I didn't think of it before, I will definitely use these particularly the lighter grey but I'd like this in a finer liner so this is a 0.5 I'd probably prefer it in the 0.1 but definitely will use these again and the kneadable eraser is epic it rubs out great but now I've got two I've got a white and a grey one I wonder if they're different if you know if they're different let me know in the comments but you can never have too many erasers because I make a lot of sins in my drawing but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this April even though it's going to be May by the time you're watching this Scrawlerbox video and do you like to see this series because I'll continue paying for Scrawlerbox and I'll continue to do them thank you so freaking much for watching I'll see you all very very soon all right then I love you goodbye Mmm, I love fruit salads. Mm.